I was asked what resources I would recommend for creating a game engine. And that being said, this is not going to be the definitive guide to building a game engine. Instead, it's what I would have told myself five years ago about how to start this journey. First, I would recommend having a very small game in mind and make that instead of an engine. Then think of a new game and carry pieces forward like input and a windowing system. Over time, piece by piece, you will see an engine form this way. Lastly, while it's not necessary, I would recommend writing a text-based RPG in C++ to get practice with using pointers, references, structs, and classes. This will make the following journey much easier. Now let's look at some YouTube channels that can help you on your way. When I wanted to write a 2D game engine using C++ and OpenGL, the channel I found most helpful was Making Games with Ben. He has a great series on building a 2D game engine, and that being said, I only watched the first 26 episodes together. And the reason is, while tutorials can be great, once you reach a point where you can do parts on your own, go ahead and branch off and start practicing what you've learned. The first 26 episodes will cover rendering and player input. And from that point, you can make many of the classic games, Pong, Galaga, etc., before coming back and continuing the series. Next, I want to recommend Binnybox for his great 3D focus content, both game engine videos as well as entity component systems from scratch. I would also like to recommend The Thin Matrix if you have a focus in Java, because even though you may know him from games such as Equilinox and his new gardening game, he did a Java game engine video a while back and it's great. Even if you are not focused on Java, if you're new to 3D rendering, you may want to check out some of his videos because he does some great explanations in them, kind of whiteboard kind of content, and it really helped me out when dealing with shadows. Another big time channel to check out is the Cherno. With both his C++ and OpenGL playlist being invaluable for your journey, these videos are a great tool because many are topical. So if pointers, references, or even batch rendering are giving you problems, these videos are quick and self-contained. This way you can easily find help for specific issues as they come up. These videos have helped me create my current game, Stop the Slimes. By the way, if a card-based tower defense game interests you, wishlist Stop the Slimes on Steam today. While these YouTube channels will be helpful, it's also beneficial to have well-written resources like LearnOpenGL.com. Start by exploring the Getting Started section, where you can learn to open windows, load textures, create your first shader, and move the world around your camera. Then add pieces to your game engine as you need more. I would also like to bring up a few books. Foundation of Game Development, Volume 1 Mathematics may be a good refresher, if it's been a little bit since you've had linear algebra, or algebra in general. And then, if you're looking to build a cross-platform game from scratch, looking at 2D and using SDL or SDL2, there's a book, The Black Art of Multi-Platform Game Programming, that kind of started me off this journey back in college. Unlike newer languages, C++ does not have a standardized way of doing, well, anything, but... In this case, I'm talking about building or including libraries. I have decided to include my libraries as git submodules and then use CMake to bring it all together. And while this may be a headache at times, I would recommend checking out Ozard Dev for a CMake walkthrough and I'll link below my template project so you could read through my CMake files to see how I'm including my libraries. Now, I would like to see what resources you would recommend people to check out down below, as I may include those in future videos and pin your comment, as I'm sure I have missed plenty of great resources. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.